Hopefully I didn't make nobody dizzy by doing that. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I'm on this machine as y'all can see. I'm getting ready to try to work it out. Then, then, that's what I'm getting ready to do on this machine. I'm getting ready to uh, keep my word. You know what? How about I just incorporate my quick use of news while I'm on this machine since I'm going to be sitting here for about 35, 45 minutes anyway. I'm doing this talking and toning because I'm on this machine. You know what? I think I had my camera turned the other way yesterday. I don't remember. I'll be in Houston Wednesday. Oh, it's plenty to do in Houston. Hopefully you'll find something to do. Uh, it's plenty to do from one end of the city to the other. Plenty to do here in Houston. I actually get on here. I'm on the DB method machine. It's a um, machine that works your legs out, your butt. It's supposed to help with your core. So I said, I know I needed to get my thighs in some type of shape. So I just committed five days a week between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to be right here talking and toning. But I can't give you a definite time because I never know what time I'm going to get off work. I never know what time I'm going to be able to jump on. Like, here it is, 7.15. This is my first opportunity to come in here and try to go live. I say everybody's name if I have the opportunity. But, yeah, I like to just sit on this machine. And try to work these legs out. I'm trying to get in some kind of shape. How everybody doing today? Over here, talking and toning, talking and toning. Whew. My thighs are sore, but they feel better. They were actually hurting a lot because uh, I started on the machine last Thursday, I believe it was. And they were hurting a lot, but they feel a lot better. And I think it's because I continue to use the machine. I didn't just stop when I started feeling the pain. I keep doing it. So the last couple of days, I know I've probably gotten in way more than 100 squats. And that's a lot of days, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not no big fitness person, so I don't know. Maybe 100 squats is not a lot. But for me, I think it's a lot. So uh, when I just sit in here and talk, I know I'm getting in at least 100. At least but this machine, I like it because it has a high, uh, like hydraulics, I guess that's what you call it. And, it. and it helps lift you back up. So it kind of assists you in doing your squats. And when I, before I bought the machine, I actually looked at a couple of YouTube videos. And they were showing how you can uh, use the machine. And they say that just doing it 10 minutes a day, that you should really start seeing some results. And like I say, by me coming on here every day, just talking in this camera, it actually motivates me to get on the machine. So, while I'm coming in, hopefully, I can motivate somebody else that's coming in and see me doing a little bit of something and motivate y'all to do something, maybe. We just chit-chatting. I see I got a lot of likes that they went through. Thank you for hitting the hearts and sending the hearts through the screen. Thank you. Um, again, I'm kind of new at TikTok Live. So I look at some of the suggestions that they give <clears throat> for engagement. And I talk to anybody. If you know me, you know I just talk to anybody. So it's easy for me just to sit on here and talk and engage with the people that come and see me over here on um, G Butterfly TV. Hey, is that Miss Felicia Jackson? You back again. I appreciate you. You've been coming. I was looking for you yesterday, Felicia. We were on here for about a, maybe an hour, hour and ten minutes. We were on here. And I actually said, where is Felicia Jackson? She's been in my last two lives, but I appreciate you coming over here today. I really do. And as you can see, I kept my word, Felicia. I'm still on this machine, chatting. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How you doing today? Hey, uh, thanks, baby. I needed this. Uh, you needed what? To get encouraged to uh, exercise? Whew. Talking to y'all encouraged me to sit here and run my mouth and work this machine because I have to see some re some results. I have to see some results by my birthday, which is at the end of March. I see the hearts going up. Thanks so much for sending me the hearts. Uh, share out my video. Let everybody know G Butterfly over here talking and toning. I'm not your typical workout person. I'm not even going to lie and try to act like I am because um, if I wasn't doing TikTok, I probably will be sitting over there watching TV, eating grapes. So I say, you know what? Uh-uh. I need to get it together. Yes, baby. I love your pumping. Oh. You're going to keep pumping. You know what? Let me help you. Okay. All righty. I'm bored. How you doing? Thanks for coming over to G Butterfly TV. I appreciate you stepping in. 
Only thing we're doing over here is toning and talking, toning and talking. Yesterday I did my quick Houston news. Today I'm going to uh, talk about some more topics that I found on quick Houston news. Yes, Blended Impression, thanks for coming over. They were early. I haven't been on here five minutes. Uh, the kind of machine I'm on is called the DB Method. You can you look on YouTube. They have all kind of videos. Uh, it's the DB method. And one thing I can say, it's easy on your knees. It's not hard. I don't feel any pressure on my knees whatsoever. Again, it's the hydraulics that do all the work. Even though I feel it, it's the hydraulic that keep lifting me back up. So. Whew. But yeah, and as I sit here and just talk, I actually get quite a few squats in. So I'm committed. It ain't that hard. No, it's really, it's not. With this machine, it's not. But I think if I had to do it on my own, it would be a lot more difficult. And I probably would feel like, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. Forget it. But with this machine, I actually feel encouraged to keep doing it, keep doing it every single day. Yes, Felicia Jackson. We got his crazy tail out of here early. Because he was he could have been a pervert or something. I'm like, mm-mm. I don't want that over here. I just noticed my earrings backwards. See how I got all sidetracked? I'm supposed to be working my machine and I'm looking at my earring that is backwards. And yes, I put earrings on when I work out because I like the I like earrings. I just feel like a lady's supposed to have on earrings every day. And so yes, I have my earrings on while I'm sitting here on this machine. Ooh, thanks for responding. Oh, no problem. You know, I respond to anybody on here if they ask a question. And if I have an answer, I get it, I give it. As long as they ask a question in the right way, like we already had to block somebody a few minutes ago for already coming in the wrong way. Yesterday, I think, blended impression, I think we had to block two people out of here. Ooh, I'm tired. Help, Lord. We already had to block two people out of here yesterday. I'm going to have to go chase my t-shirt if I'm going to be leaning over on this machine when I get tired. Yep, we sure did block two people yesterday. But thank you. Oh, I'm trying to see somebody else's name look like it flew through there. And they looking. Mm -hmm. I know that's what it is. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm going to have to put a turtleneck on. I'm really be sweating. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> that was funny. I'm telling you, sometimes I just laugh at my own self. If y'all follow me on YouTube and my TikTok channel, every morning I go live from the parking lot. And sometimes I say the silliest stuff while I'm sitting in that truck and I make myself laugh. Because if you saw my one from this morning, I bet you everybody can relate well, maybe not everybody. I bet 98% of people can relate to the video I did this morning. And it's over there on YouTube. My YouTube channel is G Butterfly TV, and it's the same red hat, so it's the same profile picture. But check out my live from the parking lot this morning about funny money. Wait till you see it. When I saw that, I was, when I did that video, I had to laugh myself. And one of my employees who come in at a lot of t at a later time, I forgot sometime he watched my videos. He sent me a text and he was like, oh my God, I needed that laugh this morning. He said, because I could definitely relate. And so I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, I had to go live from the parking lot this morning. Oh, and you know, we over here toning and talking. Toning and talking. I got my quick Houston news. I got all my little topics right here. We're going to go over them in a little bit. I might do the next story. In a few minutes, because my legs are getting tired. Walter, Waterworld TV, thanks for joining over here. Toning and talking, that's all I got going on. But thanks, I appreciate you coming over to G Butterfly TV. I didn't see you yesterday. You came up, you know what? I actually came on a little after six. I think I did. I think I came on a little after six. That's why I say my time is going to be between 6p and 8p, and I know that's a wide window. However, I just never know what time I'm going to get home, what time I'm going to get situated, and what time I can actually get in front of this camera and start just chit-chatting. So, and this way, I know I'm getting in more than 100 squats a day. And this machine really helps me come back up with the hydraulic in the seat. So that really helps, really, really helps. But, you know, we're going to talk about some quick Houston news. I went online. If you know me, you know I love to watch Fox News. Love, love, love Fox News. So, excuse me, down here is Fox 26 News. So I go on there and look and see what they're talking about. I might catch a story early in the morning while I'm getting myself prepared for work. Is Hey, Bazana B. Join checking me out. There's a Ryan 
King9786, thanks for checking out you, uh, G Butterfly TV. I'm thinking I'm on YouTube. Lord Jesus, help me. But we're over here talking and toning. That's all we're doing. Talking and toning. And I'm going to get into my first story with my quick Houston news that I went and found over there on Fox 26. Hey, six. I love Fox 26 news. Love it. And you know what? I, I know what it is. All of the um, newscasters, commentators, whatever they call them, I like watching them on Fox because they come across very, very laid back. It's almost like talking to your neighbor next door. I know a lot of people like Channel 13. My grandmother loved 13. My mama watched 2 and 11, I believe. I just prefer Fox. And it's because the people on there seem very laid back, friendly, like your next door neighbor. It's not like you're sitting up there watching somebody real stiff with a suit on telling you about the news. So I like Fox 26 news. But yeah, somebody said Channel 13. I grew up watching 13 because my grandmother always had it on. My grandmother used to love Marvin Zimler. Watch Fox at 9. Okay. Down here, uh, our Fox comes on at, I think, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. But they have so many great shows on Fox, uh, news type shows, after the main news will go off. Isaiah Carey has a really good show called Uncensored that I like watching sometimes. Fox 26, channel 3. Okay, watch Fox 9. All right, but you know what? We're going to get on this first story. And uh, it didn't have a good outcome, but I'm going to read it anyway. Sitting in... There it is. Who is that? Waterworld TV? Now, I know you from around this area. Because, uh, what was his name? Damn, I just said it. Marvin Zilla Slime in the Ice Machine. <laughs> I grew up hearing that, but you know what? We used to be glued to the TV to see which restaurants had the slime and ice machine because that's the one you knew you did not want to go to. Growing up, we were on the island. So most of the restaurants he talked about was here in the big city in Houston. And it was always uh, a restaurant that we probably have heard before. That's who, that's who you remind me of. Who? Oh, you're Missouri City. Okay, all right, Water. Oh, uh, what is it? Water World TV, Missouri City. All right, all right, the suburb of Houston. Okay, that means we neighbors. Live from the parking lot. You better know it, Felicia Jackson. Okay, thank y'all. I see how my likes have went up. Oh my God, they done went up to almost 800, and it was only like 70 something a minute ago. But that really helps me get into the algorithm where other people uh, could potentially see my videos or share my video. You got the opportunity to share it out right now and let them know G Butterfly over here talking and toning. Y'all know I talk about a whole lot of nothing and a little bit of something, but we just passing the time. While I'm over here on this machine trying to get these thighs together, and I told y'all yesterday, I'm trying to see what my thighs look like by my birthday. I'm gonna get you to 1k. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, see what my legs looking like by my birthday, and that's at the end of March. And I'm telling you, if my legs still look the same, I'm going to be pissed off. You know what I mean? I'm going to be hot. I ain't going to lie. I better see some results. You know what? I'm going to keep checking every two weeks. I'm going to just look at them. But truth be told, as long as that, uh, if I build a little bit of muscle, and I can't see the cellulite, because the cellulite then built up. You keep living long enough and go through menopause, you're going to see some cellulite somewhere. Luckily, I ain't all toe up. So when I have my clothes on, you know, I still look relatively nice in my opinion. And uh, But that cellulite, I'm telling you, keep waking up like my grandma used to say. Keep on waking up and getting older. You're going to see some. And, you know, once menopause started, I started doing a lot of research online. <clears throat> Excuse me. Started doing a lot of research online and found out that um, sleeplessness, um, memory, sometimes your memory get kind of on the shaky side. Mm -hmm. And also cellulite is three things that you have to deal with when it comes to menopause. When I'm like, oh, well, Ooh, I just got tired of seeing the little dents on my thighs. And it wasn't bad, but I didn't like it. So I said, you know what, let me get on this machine and do something. So that's what I've been doing over here. Trying to tone it tall. But let me tell you about this first story. Because I thought this one was pretty interesting. And I hadn't heard about this one until today. Jesse Quinones, age 22, pled guilty to the 2017 murder of then 17-year-old Patrick Adalpe. They both were students attending Accelerated Center Education, also known as ACE. 
It is being reported that Quinone has brought a 9mm gun to a meeting with Patrick in the North Shore area. Quinones had been working on a gun for Adalpe when the exchange turned, took a turn for the worse in a cul-de-sac neighborhood. Per Fox 26 News, during the exchange of the weapon, there was a dispute over money and Adalpe said that Quinones owed, owed him $250. Quinones said he needed to go get it. He drove off and loaded his 9mm and returned to where Adalpe was waiting. So Adalpe walked up to the car. You know, I guess he figured, okay, he back. Let me go walk up to the car, get my money he owed me, and, you know, I can bounce. He walked up to the car, and Quinone shot him from the passenger side. So that let me know there was a drive in that car. So even though they've arrested this 22-year-old man, whoever was driving that car, I bet he's going to be a part of that too, if he haven't already. So we're going to see about that. Now, Quinone has told investigators that he shot a doll pay multiple times because he kept screaming. Uh, you think? If you shoot somebody one time, hell yeah, they gonna scream. So I guess they could have been in a, well, they were in a neighborhood, and that's probably why he shot it multiple times to try to get him to shut up before somebody really realized what was going on. But hell, if you hear the gunshot, you already then, uh, notified the neighbors what's going on. So, uh, Quinone has fled the scene, and he crashed his car when he fled the scene, and he only got a half a mile away. And he took off running. And so there was a female who was with Aldalpe. She drove him to the Clear Lake Regional Hospital where unfortunately the young man died. The weapon that he got from Quinones was still in the car. So while she's driving off, she going to throw the weapon out of the car in some bushes. And lo and behold, guess what? The cops found it. So I got a feeling, and I could be wrong, but I got a feeling whoever was in the driver's seat of Quinones' car, and the young lady who drove Aldape to the hospital. I bet they're getting ready to have some charges filed against them because they was all a part of that, all a part of that uh little situation that happened there. It was just unfortunate that the young man died. But this uh guy, Quinones, they gave him 35 years. Young man, all his life. 22, now he got 35 years in the pen for killing somebody. Hey, uh, I think they said popcorn or somebody like that. I, I, I'm trying to say all the names. It looked like it said popcorn. Kimberly, hi. Thanks for coming over to G Butterfly TV. Over here, we just toning and talking. And I'm also doing my quick Houston news. So I just did my first story. So I'm going to hit this machine a little bit more and keep talking. But I do appreciate anybody who came in while I was reading my story and I didn't see your name. I appreciate you coming through G Butterfly TV. And I also appreciate everybody that's hitting the, hitting the hearts. And, uh... Share all my videos. Let people know G Butterfly over here talking. I love how you sound when you talk. Well, thank you. Thank you. The other, uh, I know I got a heavy southern drawl. <laughs> yes, I do have a southern drawl. And I think I said the other day, I don't like hearing myself on the answering machine because I'd be like, damn, you sound country. Now, I know how to turn it off when I need to. But when I'm just in my element, I'm just going to be me. So that may be why I sound so country. <laughs> You may not be saying country, but yes, I know that I do. I know that I do. Ooh. And who was that? Who said that? I'm trying to see the name. It sounds sweet. Oh, thank you. Is that Nikali? Nikal? Nikal? The writing is small. If I'm saying your name wrong, please forgive me. Uh, the writing is just kind of small, and I'm looking at it on my cell phone. I'm not on my... Hi, Kimberly. Thanks for coming back. Uh, I'm not looking at it on my iPad. I mean, on my tablet. But I appreciate the ones who stand over here while I'm trying to tone and talk. How did everybody day go today? We almost to the weekend. Almost to the weekend, and I'm glad about that. This was a short week because we were off Monday. But I got to work on so busy on Tuesday. Hell, I felt like I had already been there two days. So, Whew. Felicia, it looked like. Zayden Johnson, thanks for coming over. I appreciate you coming over to G, Blood, G Butterfly TV. I know on my uh, on the title, I think it said Tone and Talking and Random Topics. Yes, it's going to always be Random Topics with me. Uh, I see your question now, but what do they have to be with? What they have to do with Toning and Talking? Can give you any answer you're not gonna know if it's true or if I'm lying 
I know I'm going to be well over 100 today. Well over 100. Nothing I want to know that's but who to ask better than you. Well, you're right. I will be the right person to answer. But again, if I gave you the answer, you wouldn't know if I was lying or telling the truth. But I'm going to go on to my next story that I got on Fox 26 News. For my quick Houston news. All right. So Mr. Zachary Charles Douglas age 20, has been charged with murder and the death of 48-year-old Stephen Douglas Johnson. Now, when I saw the Douglas, I was like, hmm, could they possibly be related? Or could his name just happen to, his middle name just happen to be Douglas and he was killed by somebody named Douglas. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, on October the 2nd, 2022, police were called to an apartment complex in Clear Lake off of Redford Road. The employees of the complex smelled a foul odor coming from the apartment. Once the officers entered the apartment, they found a decomposed body in the closet. Can you imagine going into a space and you go and open up the closet and you're like, damn, that's a dead body. Can you imagine somebody having to see that? Ooh, wee. But I'm quite sure people who work at, I'm getting all sidetracked, but I'm sure people who work at apartment complexes, once people move, I bet they go in and find all kind of shit. It's good when people clean up their apartment before they leave. You know, try to leave it like they found it when they first moved in. But I bet people leave some of them apartments nasty as hell. I know they do. <clears throat> I know they do. I couldn't imagine having to clean up behind random people like that. But yeah, they went in there and they found a dead body in the closet. <clears throat> uh, where was I? Da -da 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 -da. Once the officers entered the apartment, they found a decomposed body in the closet. Per Fox News, the autopsy report states that the deceased died from blunt force trauma on or shortly after August 21st. That means that the body has been in the apartment for almost two months. Can you imagine the de decomposition? Is that how you say it? Can you imagine that? Happens to me, too, staying over there by NRG. Lady was in there a whole month. What? Water world, are you serious? Oh, uh, I haven't started walking because of time change. Once time change, I'm going to start walking. I just happened to see a question. I like walking. Actually, I like walking better than doing anything else when it comes to trying to get some level of fitness. Um, but, you know, it gets dark very early right now. I think time is supposed to change in March, April. So I'll be able to go back out then. But wow, NRG, there's a lot of apartment complexes over by NRG. Tons of apartment complexes. And you saying that the whole time the woman was in there a month. Oh my God, I couldn't even imagine what that smelled like when they popped open that door. Ooh! I bet that was gross. I bet that was so gross. I wonder, hey, do you know, was it an older woman that maybe didn't have any family members that checked on her? Uh, let me finish. Okay. Oh, they say that the, they died from blunt force trauma on or shortly after August 21st. That means that the body had been in the apartment for almost two months. Zachary was arrested on unrelated charges and now has been charged for the role in Stephen's murder. There is suspicion that others were involved in the crime and HPD is asking that if anyone has any information to call them or to contact Crime Stoppers. And I think Crime Stoppers is what? 713 TIPS? No. I think it's 713 777 TIPS. Uh, you get paid if they actually arrest somebody or convict somebody or something like that. But, uh, Oh, say so you said older lady, no family. Oh, that's really sad. That's real sad. They they do very nasty. However, some people wind up going to jail and losing everything. Oh, you mean, uh, Miss Jackson, when they go to jail, they're unable to pay their rent, and then the uh, apartment complex has to evict them, even though they're in jail, so they have to go in there and clean everything out. Do you think the people who work in those apartment complexes take this stuff? I often wondered about that. Because let's just say the person is in jail and they have to clean out the apartment so that they can rent it to somebody else. 713 tips Okay, I knew I was close. Thanks, Water World. I knew it was close. I knew the number was close. But um, I've often wondered if the people who work in those apartment complexes, if they take their stuff. Like, just got to go through. Like, ooh, I like that dress. Let me take that. Ooh, that icebox still work. I'm going to get that. Damn, them some badass shoes. Let me take those. My girlfriend can fit those. Okay, let me get this. Let me get that. I often wonder about that. She's been, they've been stealing since I was a kid. Who been stealing since you were a kid, Water World? 
I don't know who been stealing. But look, I didn't stop. Let me get back on my... Give me some more squats in. While we all over here on G Butterfly TV, I see my likes going up. Please continue to hit the little... Uh, what is it? The little hearts? And the stars. I think there's some kind of boots. And... uh. I really appreciate y'all coming over here. Ooh, help me, Jesus. Ooh. Hey, uh, who's that? Uh, Mama, Mama's, Mama Chloe. That's what it looks like. Thanks for joining G Butterfly TV. We appreciate you coming over. Over here, we just toning and talking and just uh, chit-chatting. In my comments, if I see, <clears throat> if I see the comment, I'll try to respond to the comment. But I have a couple of more stories. Was that the only one? Those are two I had. Oh, now this was another one. And I don't know if anybody else saw this one. Coyotes have been spotted near downtown Houston. Can you imagine that? The people that work there. Oh, okay, work at the apartment complex. They've been stealing since you were a kid. I can believe it. Coyotes have been spotted near downtown Houston. There was a gentleman named Zach Vandermost, who is the owner of Critter One, said that they've received more calls lately related to coyote sightings. Per Zach, coyotes are scavengers and genuinely will not try to attack humans. Texas Park and Wildlife offer these few tips to manage coyotes if you see them in your area. Lord knows I don't want to see nothing around here crawling. Nothing, okay? Nothing. Number one, do not feed them. Number two, keep compost piles securely covered. Number three, keep your pets inside. So that means coyotes will attack your cats and dogs? Wow. I had a friend that used to work doing that kind of work, and they told to get the place clean. Oh, so they told to get it clean. I guess they clean it on out, huh? I can believe it. I can believe it. I can believe it. I can definitely believe it. And I've often wondered. And you know, you kind of think about that when you see, I guess, people that houses have been foreclosed on or they've been evicted out of a house and you see all of their stuff on the front lawn. That's heartbreaking when you see all of their stuff out there. But I often wonder, do people just walk by and pick that stuff up? Because how can you, how can somebody manage all of their entire house sitting out on the lawn? Ooh. But yeah, uh, see how I got sidetracked? I started reading that comment and stopped talking about the coyotes they see here in Houston. Number four was to keep your pets on a leash when walking them, especially at night. So that lets me know coyotes may not go after humans, but they definitely going after your pets. They say keep fruit trees uh, fenced in. If you have any fruit that dropped to the ground, to make sure that you get the fruit off the ground, because I guess the coyotes want that too. And use noise makers or some other type of scaring device when a coyote is spotted. So I, I guess they like your pets, but they don't like loud noises. So if you see any coyotes around your town, I just told you what to do about them. Lord, please, I'm uh, Lord Jesus, please don't let no coyotes come over here in front of my house. I am going to hurt myself trying to get inside. I'm telling you, I don't want to see nothing like that. Mm -mm, I'm scared when it comes to animals and pets and all that. Uh-uh, I don't want to see none of that. Oh, I don't want to see none of that. And I hope I don't see none this week when I have to run with these sore thighs because they probably get me. They probably get me. Because I might not be able to move as quick as I normally would if my legs were sore. But you know what? I'm really hoping that in like a week or so, I'm going to be able to say I can get on this machine and my legs don't hurt. I'm really hoping I get to that point. And I heard drinking a lot more water would really help too. I see the hearts going up. Thank you, everybody. I see my lights going up. I appreciate it. Uh, chef, dang, chef, somebody just popped in. I couldn't see the name, but thank you for coming over here to G Butterfly TV. You know, we just talking and toning. That's all we doing, talking and toning. I'm doing my quick Houston news, a few stories that I found over here on uh, Fox 26 News. Let me see. Okay, I got another one. Houston native uh, Bonnie Gabriel, who is 28, was crowned the 71st Miss Universe. She is the first Filipino American to hold a title. And what's interesting is that at 28, that's the cutoff age to even enter the pageant. She began her pageant career two years ago. You know, most women, <clears throat> excuse me, most women who are in that pageant world, they normally start off as little girls, little girls, three and four years old. 
uh, and then they just, you know, do it until they age out, I guess. She started at the age of 26, and in two years, she was Miss Texas, Miss USA, and now Miss Universe. She's the first lady of Filipino descent to be Miss Universe and the first lady uh, from Houston. So I thought that was awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, she is a local fashion designer, and during her interview, she stated that she began her pageant career because she wanted to build up her courage for public speaking. So I thought that was awesome, awesome, awesome. So I say, all right, Miss, and her name is spelled R apostrophe Bonnie, or Bonnie. That was different, R Bonnie Gabriel. But congratulations to her being Miss Texas, Miss USA, and now Miss Universe. Drinks a lot to water, Epsom salt. Yeah, I do know the Epsom salt helps, and I know I need to drink a lot of water. I've been doing better, and it helps that I keep a case of water under my desk at work because I can just reach down and get the hot country boy. Thanks for coming over. I can reach down and get the water and just drink it at work. But if I'm quite honest, I have a very hard time drinking it consistently throughout the day. I do it at work because it's right there. But once I leave work, come home, start doing what I need to do, it's a wrap. I don't drink I don't drink enough water. But I do know that it'll help my muscles. I do know and that. Share my video out. Share it out to people who you know may need to be encouraged to just uh, try to get in shape. I'm not saying do no exercise every single day, no hard workout, because hell, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to lie. But this really works for me. And I think I'm going to continue to do it. I know. Hey, thank you, country boy. You gave me a rose. You know what? I think, is this the same country boy who gave me the rose, the stars, and all that stuff the other day? If it is, thank you. And welcome back to G Butterfly TV. I appreciate that. I just got the number one glitter badge. I still really don't know what that is, but thank you. Uh, you gave me some tennis shoes and a, a soccer ball. Well, thank you so much. Cat Paul. What's the cat paws for? <laughs> no, I'm just joking with your country boy, but I appreciate it. That's very nice. I have to go and find out what is all of that that you're sending me. I don't know what the what the significance is with regard to going live. I honestly don't know, but I appreciate you because I can tell you taking effort. Is that a piece of toast? That looked like a piece of toast that just went through. Cloud bread. See, I was close. I said toast. Oh, and this machine... It's doing its job, I'm telling you. And you know, excuse me, and if you're not able to watch my whole live, I actually upload my live. Battling traffic, yeah, you better know it. In Houston, this traffic can become a beast if you don't leave at the right time. So you show right, Water, uh, water World. You are absolutely correct when it comes to this uh, traffic. But if you have to, for whatever reason, you can't watch my whole live, I actually upload my lives to my YouTube channel, G Butterfly TV. If you can if you just find the lady with the red hat and you can find my videos uploaded over there. I'm trying to build up my uh, subscribers over there on YouTube because I would like to always go live simultaneous with YouTube and TikTok. Now, you know what I was just saying a minute ago that this machine is really easy on your knees because of the hydraulics that really lift you back up. But why the last two times I just went down, my knee cracked twice? I'm like, oh, hell. That's that 53. <laughs> Damn near 54. The road rage is getting crazy here in Houston. It's getting crazy. You might as well, if people do something crazy, you just let them go. Don't try to cut them off. I remember a time where people shoot the raw at. Don't do nothing. Don't do, just let them people go. Because it is so crazy on these roads. In addition to the road rage, the crime is getting bad here in Houston. I say, I hope the mayor, they figure out something. Because it's bad. It's getting really bad. I talked about this a couple of months ago. Oh, now this is a good one. Yesterday I actually talked about Galveston. So this is another one. If you're hungry and are looking for somewhere to eat, consider going to Galveston Island, Texas for the annual restaurant week. Officially, Galveston's restaurant week, even though it says a week, is going to last until February the 5th. There are 40 restaurants that will be participating and offering a pre-selected menu. Uh, per Fox News, the two-course dinners will be priced $20 to $60, lunches will be priced $10 to $30, and brunches will be priced $10 to $40. All options are very affordable, and the restaurants will donate $1 to $5 to charities when you actually go and support them during restaurant week. So I said, that's pretty cute. I didn't even know that Galveston does that. Time for a new meal, in my, in, in my opinion, says Waterworld. Well, you know what? Everybody complained about him, but 
He been winning the last couple of uh, mayoral races. He been winning. So we'll see what's going to happen. You know, yesterday, Waterworld, I talked about a lady. Uh, I think her last name was William. She's 32. She's a police officer right there in Missouri City. And she's running for Houston mayor. But she got arrested for assaulting her boyfriend with her billy club. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. But I talked about that yesterday over here uh, while I was on live. The boyfriend said that she bust his lip New Year's Eve, but he said that wasn't the first time she hit him. He's, uh, no, 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 no. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. Let me get it right. If I'm going to say it, I need to say it right. He said that wasn't the first time she hit him. When she hit him in his mouth and bust his lip, I'm like, damn, he was tasting blood when the New Year came in. Mm. Anyway, he told that she had been hitting him with her billy club. So, you know, I said, I wonder how is that going to affect her running for the mayor of Houston? That's not a good look. But then again, this crime so bad here, they might need somebody who uh, think like that. Really, we don't. But I'm just saying, they have to do something. It's so frightening just going outside your door, going to the gas station, wherever you're going. Because you look, and your head always got to be on swivel. Because you don't never know when something going to happen. And as a woman, it's even more so frightening. They've even been uh, uh, assaulting older senior citizens. I'm like, it's getting bad. And I really wish the mayor and the city council and the police chief, I think his name is Fagan. I think that's his name. I really wish that they would do something to really try to do something about this uh, this crime here because it's bad. It's in and you look amazing. Thank you so much for the compliment. I appreciate it. Yeah, Fenner. I know it's Fenner or Fanner or something like that. That's him. Yep. So, well, we over here toning and talking, and I'm just trying to get myself in shape. And I thought I would come over here and talk to my people in TikTok. And y'all encourage me, because if I'm committed, I say, you know what? Let me get on over there and talk to them. Because I ain't going to lie, one day I did not want to do it. I said, uh-uh, I gave my word, so let me get on up there and do it. And it looks like, oh, my likes have gone up. Please share my videos and let people know that G Butterfly is over here talking and toning. Who is that? Trinka Mitchell. Hey! Welcome to G Butterfly TV. Now, Trinka Mitchell. And Trinka, if you can, in the comments, put the your uh, YouTube channel. When I tell you Trika be cooking, and she show you step by step on her YouTube channel. I didn't believe you should put your hands on another, however it's fun as she wants. Yes, that's the same thing I was thinking. She want to be a male, but she beating up her boyfriend at home. That's the same thing I was thinking. Not you. I'm not talking about Trika Mitchell. We talking back about Miss Williams who running for mayor of Houston. She just, uh, I just read Felicia's comment. But Trika, put the, your um, YouTube channel in here so that people can go and follow you on YouTube. Trika can cook. You hear me? Trika Mitchell can cook, and she has a lot of videos over there on her YouTube channel showing you step by step, and you'll probably want to get some of her food if you just watch her, but yes. Trika Mitchell. I cannot remember the name on her YouTube channel, and I follow her, but when I follow her, I'm thinking about her real name. I'm not thinking about her YouTube channel, but Trika, if you can, um, put your, put your uh, YouTube channel in the chat. To let everybody know how to come find you over there on YouTube. And I want to thank Blended Impression. She's been here with me for each one of my lives. And uh, if you need any type of personalized gift. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Blended Impressions with a Z on the end. Any personalized, customized gift that you want. She can do it for you. Turnaround time is going to be great professional black owned female business customer service good so definitely if you're looking for a gift and you don't have to live in this houston area she'll mail it out to you uh blended impressions with a z what is that 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 give her courage and other cop friends she have oh you're talking about the beat her boyfriend up that gives her courage I don't know what I get. I don't know what to give her, but it damn sure gave her a uh, mug shot. She damn sure got a mug shot. So, beating up the boyfriend while you running for mail. I'm like, where they do that at? 
Well, hell, they do it here in Houston. No, Missouri City. Now, I don't know if she lived in Missouri City. She's just a Missouri City police officer. And for those of you who may be looking at my live and you're unfamiliar with the Houston area, Missouri City is a suburb of Houston. Uh, it's not very far. We have a lot of suburbs right around the city. And usually, if we're talking to people who live, who don't know anything about our area, we'll just say we live in Houston. And we might live in a suburb that's right on the side of Houston. Because we have Pearland, Manville, um, Arcola, Missouri City, Fresno. What else is around here? Pearland, Katy, Humble. But everybody pretty much say they live in Houston. But all of those little surrounding subdivisions just enclose the big city of Houston. And Alvin, yep. I started to say Alvin. Alvin is just a little bit out. That's the only reason I didn't say Alvin. Because if we say all that, we can say uh, Lake Jackson, Clute, all of that back down south. And we're not going to leave our Galveston. And Galveston is definitely not a suburb of Houston. It's the island like 40 minutes south. Sugar, yep, Sugar Land. How can I forget about Sugar Land? Definitely Sugar Land. World TV, you've been on it with these comments. I appreciate it. Share my video out. Let people know we're over here talking and Tony. I appreciate it. I really do. I whew. See, I heard that knee pop again. It was like... So you know you're getting older when you move and you start hearing people stuff snap crackling pop you know you're getting older but i ain't mad all right i'm glad you're back i didn't even know you left Brent blended impressions i know you're probably busy over there cranking out orders but i appreciate it um uh, on this machine whoo, trying to tone it up and you know what i noticed even though this machine is really for like your legs and your your abdomen and your butt. When I was at work and I was working today, I felt it all across here. So I guess when I'm holding and constantly going down, it's actually kind of working my arms out too. Maybe not as much as my legs, but it's definitely working my arms. So I might see some uh, progress because you know what I was telling y'all the other day? I don't have muscle. You see this little piece of meat right there? I say, ooh, I might have to figure out do something with that, but uh, we're going to worry about one thing at a time. All right, these legs. Ten friends. Share the live with more than ten friends. Um, oh, you shared the live with more than 10. Well, th Felicia, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you that you shared out my live. I appreciate it. Hopefully, they'll come over and see G Butterfly. We're over here just chit-chatting, and you can tell them, oh, that lady be talking about some everything. Just be crazy. Hey, uh, Kikor underscore four, thanks for joining. I appreciate you coming over here. I've already did my quick Houston news. I did my quick Houston news already, but uh, I got another topic. A friend of mine sent me a message today, and I guess he was just taking a poll, asking random women the same question. And the question was, and I know there's a few women in the uh, in my chat right now, and there's probably still a couple of guys, and I would like to know what the guys think about it too. Hey, hey. My grandbaby just walked in here. So when I see her, I just be so excited and happy. Oh, she gonna sit on the other side and watch. You gonna watch Granny Grand? Y'all getting ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, come give me a hug. Bye. Bye. Precious. I'll see you later, okay? Have a good day at school tomorrow. Yeah, All right, sweetie. You be careful. Yeah. All right, love you. Me too. Yep, yeah, I'm a granny grand and a mom over here. But they getting ready to go. AJ, be careful, okay? Yes, Bye, sweetie. Bye. All right. I forgot what I was getting ready to say. Uh, oh, see, when I saw my grandbaby and my son, it got me all sidetracked. But what I was saying, he sent a question. I think he was taking a poll of uh, multiple women. And the poll was, or the question, let me just put it like that. The question was, do you feel like you need a man? Now, that's kind of broad and open-ended, but I knew where he was going with that. So, tell me out there in um, my chat, if you're a woman, do you feel like you need a man? Just give me your very first response. We can dig into it a little bit after that. Do you feel like you need a man? A grandma, nope, don't believe it. You look amazing. Thank you so much, Soba Mama. 
I'll be 54 in a month and a half. So yes, I am a grandmother. I am as well a grand. All right. Oh, that's right, Felicia, because you told me you'd be playing with your grandson, right? Playing with your grandson. I love being a grandmother. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. Now, why this phone gonna try to ring while I'm alive? Uh, I love being a grandmother. I really do. I had two sons, so for me to get two granddaughters, I was in seventh heaven because now I can do some girly stuff with my boys. You know, it's just boy stuff. Oh, uh, coming over. You look amazing. Your skin looks flawless. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I don't use any filters on this phone because I don't know how to do all of that. But another lady told me that in another video. And I was just telling her, you know what? I do three things. I, if I drink more water, my skin probably would even look better. I don't drink enough water. If you were in my video a little while, in my live a little while ago, you would have heard me say that I know that's something that I need to work on, which is drinking more water. But I clean my skin, my face every day. I tone and I moisturize. And I've been doing that probably since I was 14 or 15 years old. I'm taking a break right now. When you see me just standing straight up or leaning, I'm trying to get these legs a break off this machine. You know I need to drink more water, but thank you for the compliment again. Uh, I don't have any filters on my phone. Again, I don't even know how to do all of that. I guess if I played around with it, I could figure it out, but mm -mm, that's too much trouble. Because I don't care how many filters you put on this phone, how many filters you put on your face, you know what you look like when you go to sleep at night. Okay? Quit trying to look like somebody else. That was my PSA for today. Cut those filters off, ladies. Y'all are already such a beautiful, beautiful creatures. Why do y'all put on all those filters on your face to try to make you look like somebody else? I've often wondered about that. A lot of those people use all them different filters, and if you saw them in real life, you'd be like, that's you? Oh, hey. Because they don't even look the same. So I'm like, just look, just look like yourself. Just look like yourself. People going to uh, like what you look like or they not. Bottom line. And then they may like you with all of them filters and all that. But when they finally see you, if they still think you're unattractive, they will still think you're unattractive. But see, this is what I be thinking about. This is what I be thinking about. A lot of women will go get all kind of stuff done to their face. Now, I don't see nothing wrong with getting a nip in the tuck. I don't see nothing wrong with getting nothing done on your whole body. If you're healthy enough to go get some work done, if you can afford to go get the work done, go get it. I may even do a video on that and go into detail about what I had done. And I don't regret none of it. But I refuse to get anything done to this face. You hear me? I'm scared. Mm -mm, I ain't for the mess with this face. Not at all. Because it just takes a, 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 just a, a slip or something and you all like this. Because somebody that fucked up your face. What's I supposed to say that on here? As long as you do it for you. See, and that's the thing. If you go and have any work done, make sure you're having it done for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else. Because if you're doing it to please somebody else, guess what? They're going to find something else they don't like about you, don't like about how you look. And what you going to do? Keep changing, keep changing. Don't ever do it for anybody else. Do it for yourself. I took a screenshot of you. Okay. Do what you need to do with it. Then that's on you. It's all right. Uh, you can take a screenshot when I did my face like that. Because guess what? I don't look like that. So whatever you want to do with it, do. Uh, hope, do what you do. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, I often wonder when these women go get all of that stuff done in their face. And again, why are you bald? You ain't talking to me or your mama. I'm trying to figure out. Because I'm not bald at all. At all. You so extra. I'm just me. If that's extra... Cool. All I can do is be me. I can't change for nobody. And I'm so dramatic. Okay. But you over here looking at me. How about that? I'm your mama. No. You your dead grandma's mama. How about that? How about that? You know what? Y'all can act real silly over here. I'm over here talking to the people who want to see me on G Butterfly TV. Who want to just have a good time. All I'm doing is talking and toning. And you want to come over here. No, you know what? And you say, water boy, don't pay them any attention, but that's what they want is attention. So I'm going to give them a little bit before I bless them with a block. How about that? Uh-huh. You probably tried to block them the same time I was blended in pressure. You know what? I'll, I'll give them a little attention for a little while because that's what they want. That's exactly what they want. And I think they probably just go to different people's page and troll just so they can have something to say. They probably lonely living with cats, no friends. Uh, probably no money, they miserable, and so they want to just come wreak havoc on somebody else's life, but I'm going to give you what you want, which is attention. 
Uh, oh, I know what I was saying. Truly beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're here on G Butterfly TV. I can only be me. I'm not going to try to change for nobody. Uh, if You might think I'm dramatic. Some people might think I'm boring. So, you know, the scales can go like this. Either people going to like it. They not. That's why it's probably 5 million people you can go find on YouTube. To watch, uh, YouTube I'm sorry, on TikTok to go watch. You don't have to sit over here and watch G Butterfly TV. Because I've been saying, if I have one person or a thousand, I'm going to still be the same. I'm not going to change. So, anybody who thinks that I'm being dramatic, doing the most, okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, my God. You said lonely living with cats. Yes, they probably are. They don't have nothing better to do but to come troll somebody's page and then say something negative. When if they would have stayed up here long enough, I probably could have dropped the gem on them that they could have used the rest of their life. Who knows? But... That's on them. I can't even worry about it. Now, I don't knock, again, I don't knock anybody who have any work done whatsoever. Hey, I say go do it. If it makes you feel like you want to feel, look like you want to feel, go do it. But I often wonder, drop them, I'm all Oh, I often wonder when women, because I don't know nothing about men. I, I, this is strictly for women what I'm getting ready to say. When they go have all this work done to their face. And they have so much work done to their face that they look like a totally different person. I often wonder what is it that makes them not want to look like who God made them look like. Did I say that right? I often wonder. Because the truth comes out. Because when you have your child, your child going to be resemble who you really are and not who you've made yourself to be. So I really often wondered about that. And some people may see me saying this and get offended or think I'm dogging out women, and that's not the case. I'm just curious that when they do that, why they don't realize that you you have to keep it up. You got to do something to keep it up. Anything you do to enhance yourself, yes, you're going to have to keep it up in some kind of way. But I just often wonder when people just, just change their face. Or, like, I don't knock women who wear makeup. I think makeup is good to enhance whatever natural beauty you already have. I'm all for it. Me personally, I just don't. I don't do I don't do it unless I'm going somewhere. Then I'll put but like I might put lipstick on daily and eyeliner. And that's me. That's just all I feel like I want to do. But I don't see anything wrong with putting eyeliner, the blush, doing all that kind of stuff. But it's a, it amazes me, <clears throat> excuse me, when women put makeup on to totally, totally transform their look, but do it every single day and there's some who don't let people see them without it and i often wonder what is the psyche behind that i often wonder that i don't know anybody out there know and i'm curious like i say no judgment but i'm just curious what is the psyche behind totally transforming yourself every single day to the point where if somebody saw you in your natural state they wouldn't know that it was you i just wonder about that what y'all think out there when they don't realize it's is that you have to keep it up. That's true. You have to get touch up every so many years. That's true. What happens if your money runs out? That's true. Because you have to work at keeping everything up. If you're totally changing. Hey, if you're just popping into my live, thanks for coming over. I'm trying to read that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you coming over. I thank the hearts that's going through. Thank you so much. Over here, we just toning and talking. If you saw my title, trying to be someone else or another persona, that is, it's possible. I just often wonder. And don't get me wrong. I think there's times and place to just get totally dogged. And uh, there's a lady who I used to go to, and she would do a full makeover on me if I was going somewhere. And I really wish Desiree still did it because Desiree was a beast when it came to putting your face together with makeup and all of that. She did a great job. Last time I talked to her, she told me she stopped. But Desiree, if you see this video, let me know if you go back to uh, doing makeup again. Because I thought you did an excellent job every single time I came to you. You did a great job. Yeah, but I don't see, I don't see anything wrong with it. Really, I don't. I've just often wondered why people do it to totally transform themselves every single day. Oh. Did anybody answer my question I asked? When the guy say, oh, maybe I only have men in the in the uh, chat. That's why they didn't answer. He asked was, do you feel like you need a man? And I thought that was a very interesting question. And he asked five women, and he said four of them said, yes, they need a man. But out there, 
if you're a woman, do you feel like you need a man? I, that's just a very basic question. That's either yes or no. Do you feel like you need a man? Hey, you're saying no. Okay, I'm glad you said no. Because then we can deep dive, dive deeper into it. Why do you say you don't need one? Or do you associate needing a man with finances? Because I know a lot of women associate that with finances. Because when I, when I answered him, my question was, yes, I do. And I've always said that I do. But not for financial reasons. I need them for the things that they can give that a woman or your uh, friends or your family can't give you. That comfort level, that companionship. Um, Sometimes guidance. So for me, I never say, oh, I don't need a man. Yes, I do. I need a man who wants to open the door for me as I'm going into the door. Can I open my own door? Hell yes, I know I can. I can do everything for myself, quite honest. Every single thing I can do for myself. But, yes, I can be my own companion. But to have a man as a companion. So, yes, I do need a man. But things that has nothing to do with finances. And the reason I asked, was it associated with finances? Because a lot of times, women equate men and money and they'll say yes i need them or no i don't but mine has never been about the money it's about all the other nuances that come with a man that i feel like i need when you feel like you need that protection yes i'm quite sure every woman is able to protect herself however you feel a little bit more secure when you have a man and a real man not these old busted up ass dudes but when you have a real man that you know is going to protect you that you know is going to be there for you and that's going to shield you from a lot of different things. And it has absolutely nothing to do with money. So that's why I wanted to know, do you feel like you need a man? And some women say, I don't need a man. Well, I do. I ain't going to lie and say that I don't. Because it's certain things that men can do that women and your family and friends just cannot do for you. Certain ways that they can make you feel that women and friends cannot. Uh, and I think everybody's answer is the right answer because it's their answer. So if women say, no, I don't need a man, that's cool. That's their answer. But uh, I've never been one of those women who say, I don't need a man. Because I do for certain things. Uh, so let's see. What is the next? You okay, I'm accept. That's uh, blending impressions. I think I hit it hard enough. Let's see. I hit it. Did it let you in? Blended impressions? Hey. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, let's see. I, I just think it's rude to be on somebody live and hide in your face. So I was trying to show oh. my face. Oh, actually, I can see your face, not your can you face. See me? I can see your pro. Well, I see your profile. Okay, yeah, yeah I can see you now. I can see you now. Hey, everybody, when you hear me talk about blended impressions, if you need any type of uh, personalized gifts, anything like that, you need to follow blended impressions with a Z on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Great uh, black-owned business. But I, I came on here because I wanted to uh, explain my response. Oh, okay, that's good. Because uh, my note was a, I, I'm looking at it totally different from what you're saying. Okay. And you're okay. saying, Let me you know, your you're asking, do you need a man? And I've had this okay. conversation with, with several guys before, and I think they got okay. their feelings hurt behind it. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And I've told them, I don't ever want to be needed mm -hmm. because there comes a time when that need is fulfilled. And when that need is fulfilled, then you're no longer needed. Mm -hmm. I'm the type of person, I want to be wanted. Okay, I can agree with that. I want you to want me. So when mm -hmm. you say, do you need a man? And I say, no. Now, mm -hmm. do I want one? Hell yeah, who don't? But... <laughs> I got to kind of keep it clean. My grandbaby over here helping me with the uh -oh. glasses. <laughs> I but so it, to me, it's a, a need versus a want. And like uh -huh. I said, with the need, once that need is fulfilled, then they move on. And when I, or, mm -hmm. or you, you tend to move on or whichever the case may be. So mm -hmm. my thing is I would prefer to want him or him want okay. me and not need me. 
Okay, well, I can understand that perspective, and I can I can agree with you on that one hundred percent. I can definitely agree with you on that one hundred percent. That right. that's where I uh, that's where my my thought train of thought goes. Yeah, I would much prefer to be wanted. Okay, yeah, I can and, I can agree with that. And I guess with a want, then those those die down too. But with the need, you don't have a choice. Okay, Felicia Jackson says she feel the same way as what you just said. She want to be wanted, not needed. Yeah. Okay. So, I, and I guess it's it's just whatever way you're looking at it. What's your perspective? Like mm -hmm. you say, you know, there's no wrong answer. It's it's just how you're looking at. Mm -hmm. I guess because on my end, and I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. On my end, okay. I want to be wanted too, and I want to want that other person. But you know how we've always heard, I don't, I don't need a man. I don't need a man. And they, and I think a lot of times they said it because they've been hurt and they're so scared that if they open up and let somebody else in, they're going to get hurt again. And that's why they say, I don't need a man. But society has almost made it to where women don't need a man anymore. Would you agree no, with that? Not with, not with bedroom candy. We don't need a <laughs> That is too funny. That's too funny. <laughs> Have you ever been to one of her? Uh, you know how they had those little shows uh, where they showed uh, products? Have you ever been to one of her? No, I have a no but uh, I have a friend that does it. Oh, really? So I, I kind of. I, uh -huh. I don't she know does. anybody she's who a, does. Yeah, she's a consultant for Bedroom Candy. So I just deal with her. Okay, that's cool. I don't know anybody. Who, does she do? Does she do like the little parties or whatever? The who? You know how they have the? I call them the, the parties where they bring all of the toys. Oh and yeah, stuff like yeah. Them. Oh yeah. Okay. I was supposed to have been doing one at my house, but I never got around to doing it. Mm hmm. But yeah, she does. She goes to parties between here and Dallas, so she travels. Oh, okay. That's all right. In that. Oh, the meeting, okay. She's they just want to the come up. They'll they tell you that they need you, but they just want to come up, and then they kind of just and they don't tell you that. But they, she's saying that. And correct me if I'm wrong, Felicia. You saying that they'll get with you because they're trying to get a come up, not because they really want you. They really need you uh, from that perspective. That's a need. Once that need is that's fulfilled, need. they mm -hmm. move on. And she said that they move on, and they don't really tell you that. You know what? I used to have a friend who always said, and it was so funny, and I can still laugh about it to this day. She used to always say, damn, why is not always finding a man who at the height of his downfall? Well, so, damn. <laughs> at the height, and he getting ready to go over. She was like, I always need people at the height of their downfall. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, that's, pretty, that's real sad. I saw late earlier, I can't remember where I was scrolling and looking, and she said, the dating wor world today, it's they date for two reasons. Mm -hmm. They either have a vision okay. or an agenda. And okay. it's your job to try to decipher, are they dating with you with a vision mm -hmm. or are they dating you with an agenda? Oh, now, you know what? That's a good way to think about it. That's and that makes sense. Uh-huh. It really does. It really does. A Dating or an agenda. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I if you got a that. vision, you're thinking long term and you're right, right, right. An agenda, right. they just trying to tick off some boxes and move on. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. Like she makes so, a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. She say, I knew I recognized you. You're the star that's always shining through my window at night. Oh, is that true? That boy, Mar that boy, Marty Mar oh. shining. Okay. All right. So you got the grandma over there. Put another man. word. Say that again. No, you stay out of people's windows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually over oh at God. their house tonight. Oh, okay. So you put another word. Mm -hmm. I bought my, packed up my cricket and stuff and brought it with me. Okay, cool. You know, I've been using my cricket a little bit more. I, I'll do a little bit, then I'll stop. Do a little bit and stop. 
But that's like one of the best gifts I could have ever gotten was my cricket. Yeah. I don't use it as often as most people probably do, but I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you look good, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate the comment. I'm going to go back into the background now, but I just wanted to verbalize my thought on that question. That's all. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate you coming up on my live, giving your perspective on need right. versus want when it comes to me. And I'll talk to you later. Uh, if this is your first time coming over to G Butterfly TV, I've committed to trying to tone at least five days a week. So between 6 p and 8 p Central Standard Time, I'm going to get up here. I'm going to get on this camera and talk to the people while I have been, while I uh, work on this DB method machine. So if you're looking for just random commentary over here that's what i'm doing I, yeah. I have a youtube channel and it's the same profile picture as g butterfly tv as well on youtube over there i have all type of videos so if you have time get over there check out my videos like them subscribe share them out hit the notification bell <clears throat> excuse me so that when i uh, upload videos you'll know over there on youtube and i'm on tiktok g butterfly tv G Butterfly TV on Instagram. I don't post as much on Instagram as I do on TikTok and YouTube, but I'm definitely trying to build up my YouTube um, subscribers so I can go live over there as well. I'm also on Facebook. You can find me, and it's the same profile picture. Your skin looks like a beautiful Reese's cup. Oh my God, Reese's cup. I hate Reese's cup. Ugh, gross. But thank you. I appreciate the comment. I appreciate the comment. Thank you so much. Screen. What's interesting about your TV show? Well, what I find interesting about it is that it's just a plethora, a plethora of things. If you're interested in cooking, I cook over there. I have family events. I have events here at my house. I show decorating. I just every day on my YouTube channel, and you can find some of it here on TikTok. Every single day, I do live from the parking lot. I'm sitting in my truck. And I'll talk about something first thing in the morning. Usually it's something silly and funny because I like to laugh. I love to laugh. I have a uh, loud, hearty laugh that I don't apologize for. And uh, I have all kinds of stuff over there on my YouTube channel. You can go over to G Butterfly TV, look for the red hat. And I have some, I like uh, reviewing reality shows. I review regular TV shows. Again, it's just a plethora. You can probably go over there and find something that you like on my YouTube channel. Uh, Blended Impression says she talks about daily life and provides reviews of restaurants. You know what? I forgot all about that, Renee. Yeah, I have uh, restaurant reviews over there, too. And you in what inspired you to build your network? You know, to be quite honest, uh, I can say my sons. I have two adult sons, and I've watched reality TV. And that was like my guilty pleasure because... My job is mentally demanding. So when I would come home, I just would want to decompress. And my guilty pleasure to decompress was to watch uh, reality TV. And I was always so caught up in it and would just laugh. And I would, we would talk about it afterwards. And my sons would say, Mom, you watch reality TV. Why you don't review it? You watch it all the time. And I'm like, oh, I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it, you know. So it always just kind of stayed in the back of my mind. You know, you ought to start a YouTube channel. And I know for at least five years I didn't. And last year, maybe it's been two years now, possibly. One day I decided, I just sat in front of the camera and just started talking. And it's, I guess like they say, the rest is history. And I just started creating my own videos. And I want to say in late January of last year was when I did my first TikTok video. And I've been doing it ever since then. So I can say that my sons inspired me. And I don't have a fear of talking in front of the camera. I don't have a problem with speaking in front of anyone. Uh, so getting in front of the camera was actually very natural for me. I didn't have any angst about doing it. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't scared. Uh, even to this day, I and I think what helps is that I just be me. So um, that's it. Congratulations. I hope you continue to grow, gain sponsorship and partners with people. I hope I do too. I know I was looking over there on the, uh, what do you call it? The creator space. And they were saying that you have so you have to have so many followers to start getting partnerships to do all of that. And if I do find, if I don't, I'm fine with that as well. But I just like being able to sit here and just express myself and talk. Uh, but I'm not gonna sit on here all day. I know some people sit on this bad boy all day long. I can't do it. I actually have a full life outside of this little piece you see on TikTok. 
But yeah, I like spending a lot of time with my granddaughter. So you'll see videos over there on YouTube where I'm taking them places. We're doing things together. I have, uh, I think, two cooking videos where I'm cooking with my granddaughter. So um, that's about it. So that's how I was inspired. My son said, you should try it. And it just always stayed in the back of my mind. And without anybody knowing, I just decided one day I'm going to make a video. And I've been doing it ever since. You're already on to a great start. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate the encouragement. Thank you so much. And Country Boy, he came through and was giving me all kind of stuff. Uh, soccer balls, tennis shoes, Texas toast. That wasn't Texas toast. Some kind of cloud toast or something. But thank you, Country Boy. I don't know if you're still on here. But he came through and gave me all kind of roses and different things going through. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to get off of this live. I know I've done at least 100, 120 squats. And without this machine, I would not have been able to do it. I thank everybody who came over here to G Butterfly TV. Again, I'm going to be on here five days a week doing this between 6 p and 8 p central standard time i don't have a set time because i never know what time i'm gonna get home and be able to get over here and do what i need to do <clears throat> excuse me uh, but i may be coming live uh, at other times but for this specific toning and talking it will be between 6 p and 8 p i thank you so much blended impressions for coming over as you've done the last couple of days to try to moderate and help the conversation along I appreciate you coming on live and giving your uh, perspective about needing versus wanting a man. Uh, and with that being said, same place, same time. So, not same time. I'm lying. Not same time. <laughs> uh, between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. I'll be on here tomorrow toning and talking. It's G Butterfly and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.